It is the middle of the night. I've been writing and doing schoolwork all day after coming home from work, and I felt the need to finally get a video out again. Hello everyone, I'm Mokuchi, and welcome back to my channel. First, apologies for any keyboard or mouse clicking, as I know that annoys some people. I'll try to be as quiet as possible, but in advance, just be aware you may hear some clicking. And I am so sorry for being gone for a year now. I've been meaning to film a video, but I lost my camera battery in May and just haven't gotten around to getting another one, hence this being a let's play. Also, I am recording this in the room next to where my dog sleeps, so if you hear any, like, dog noises, <laughs> that's why. I was planning on making a follow-up to my previous video about the video game Our Life Beginnings and Always as requested by someone in the comments, but the Baxter DLC hasn't been released yet. My plan was to talk about step 4, as the video was posted prior to its release, as well as talk about the Wedding DLC, which is currently out, the Baxter DLC, and Derek DLC, which just came out a couple days ago, as in day of recording. So that video is delayed indefinitely until the Baxter DLC is released. So instead, I thought, why not play a different indie game? I've actually already played this game, recorded it, and everything, but I didn't like how it turned out, so I'm re-recording. Anyways, this game, as you can see, is called Cafe in the Clouds. On Ichio, it says, quote, Cafe in the Clouds is a bite-sized visual novel with point-and-click elements. When townsfolk are troubled by their daily lives, their imaginations run free as strange dreams envelop them in an uneasy sleep. Those with particularly vexing dreams may seek the mysterious assistance of dream eaters with hopes of having their anxieties eaten away. Entering the worrisome dreams of afflicted clients, Somnia and Ramiri investigate the roots of their client's torment, hoping to create a dish out of the materialized anxieties." End quote. As always, I'll have the Ichio page linked in the description for anyone who'd like to play this game for themselves. There is a bonus ending for getting a 5-star dish, so let's see if I remember how to get it, and without further ado, let's get started. So click to start. So for, before I start, I would just like to say that um, I find these characters very, very cute. Uh, this is Somnia and this is Ramiri, as you'll soon find out. And I would actually completely cosplay Somnia. Like, without like any hesitation, I would cosplay Somnia. I think she is adorable. <laughs> Click to start. I like the little twinkle noise. I thought that was cute. Um, just so everyone is aware, there are screen shakes in this. They will be turned on in this playthrough, so just so people are aware, there will be screen shakes. So, let's start. Cafe in the Clouds. When the curtain of the night lifts, a sleepy town wakes by the gentle glow of morning. The townsfolk go about their days, shedding the patchwork quilt of a night's myriad of dreams. However, when the townsfolk fall into deep slumber once more, the visions of night come out to play. The fantasies of wondrous reverie entertain those who have nothing to worry about. Yet, the troubled fear how their nighttime tales will unfold. Luckily, in a quiet corner of the town lies Cafe Nemo, a cozy cafe that greets anyone who visits with a warm meal and a warmer atmosphere. Their dreamy dishes and a mellow milieu offer m milieu milieu anyways offer a soothing repose from troubled busy lives. Should any uneasy lives trail the starlit streets for the cafe's incandescent aromas, they'll find two cooks with open arms. <laughs> Spoonful of sugar in the most delightful way. Ding. Ramiri! Take a look, the tarts are done. This, okay, that sprite reminds me so much of um, Maya from Ace Attorney. I will show the sprite that I'm referencing, with well, the Maya sprite that I'm referencing on the screen in a minute. I'll go ahead and set some on the display. Would you like to taste one? Later, please, I. How is it? Somnia, that's hot. I can grab my own, you know. Do you think I use too much jam? No, the portions are well balanced. The jam you made this time has a better consistency, so the tart shells held together nicely. 
You also took my advice on making a thicker, lighter tart shell. Hmm. Good work. Aw, oh, you flatterer. Your tips are always top-notch. I can always count on your sharp palate for tasting, Remy. Well, uh, of course. Regardless, you should know better than to handle tarts that are too hot to touch. Despite that, I can't say no to Somnia's desserts. Sigh. My Remy, you've been at inventory count for quite a while. Allow me to finish it up instead while you take a breather. It's fine, Somnia. I know you think it's a bore to count everything. I won't take no for an answer, Ramiri. You've been preparing since 5 a.m. What time does this take place at? Since 5 a.m.? That's a lot of inventory. Besides, we seem to be early on setting up shop anyway. There's no harm in taking breaks, is there? So if you would, please sit down, relax, and enjoy a fresh tart made with love. I... If you insist. There's no arguing, is there? Here, I just have the last page to check off on. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> oh, there are only three things left to check. Also, I would like to point out this menu this menu over here. So, Somnia Special and Ramiri Recommendation, which is like cut off. Um, and then Complimentary Coffee, Inquire Within for Special Dish, New Items, Dreamy Strawberry Tiramisu, Magical Molten Lava Cake, Smoked Salmon with Zesty Lemon, and All Orders Made with Love. I love that they have complimentary coffee. I personally cannot drink coffee, but I know a lot of people who love coffee, so... But also it's a cafe, so... I don't know how well complimentary coffee will go for a cafe. <laughs> because it's a lot of coffee that you get at cafes. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> done, done, and done. If that's all, I'll go flip the sign outside for any early birds to arrive. Hmm, hmm, hmm. A merry tune to toot. Ah! What's wrong? The, there was a person falling over on the pavement outside. Oh. We can't have bodies blocking the door for potential customers. Oh dear, are they okay? Now that is the duality of man. Also, this right here, this character reminds me of uh, the one character from Undertale, the kid that looks like the, the kid of Toriel. Um, my friend told me it the other day when I mentioned this character. I believe it was Azriel. Uh, so sorry if I mispronounced that, but I believe it was Azriel, Azriel, something like that. But that's who they remind me of. I don't know why. Hmm. Are they? D -d 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 I'm alive. <laughs> Snore. <laughs> dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. Da, da, da. We should bring them in. It won't do us any good having someone lying on the floor in front of our store. Bing bing. So sorry. A thousand apologies for the concern. From this angle, they don't remind me as much of as as much. They don't remind me as much of Azriel, but from like the other drawing of them like laying on the floor, they remind me a lot of Azriel for some reason. <sighs> They were napping? Were they sleeping on the pavement outside? Um, let's see. Would you happen to know a cafe around here called Cafe Nemo? Dot dot dot. Welcome. Welcome. We're technically not open for the day yet, but since you're here, is there anything we can get started for you? Oh, yes. I heard rumors that the cafe recently reopened for business again. It's been what? Five years? It's been so long, I can hardly contain my <sighs> excitement. Five years? Well, that's around the time when she. Hmm. Let's see now. I'll have this cherry tart and the egg pudding pasta with strawberry chives. That's the special menu item of the day, right? Yes, you are correct. Would you like your order for here to go? For here. All right, luckily there's still a half hour before the store opens proper, so we have time to fulfill your request. Kindly, please follow us to the back. Also, they have pictures right there and they have a cat. I never noticed that before, actually. I never noticed that in the last playthrough. Beyond the cafe's inconspicuous back door and past the checkered tiles of the kitchen was a curious room, simultaneously deep and light, unfamiliar yet intimate. 
It was an office of sorts, dimly lit, it housed a bed as its centerpiece, a decorative mirror to taste, and a long, olden cabinet. The two cooks shut the door after their client, and the three of them became enveloped in the velvety deep. It was time to begin. I like the- oh. The little plushie that was right there, like a moment ago, but she covered it up. I thought it was cute. This place! Wow, it looks much more different than what I remember. Welcome to Slumberworks. Here we specialize in investigating strange sleep patterns and behavior. Tell us, what ails you? Um, well first, I would like to ask if Miss Nemo is... present? The way this is worded makes me think it's like a seance. <laughs> oh, um... Unfortunately, she is currently away. We are her apprentices who will be taking care of the store while she's gone. However, you're in good hands. We provide the specialty service as partners. I'm her Mary, dream specialist. And I'm the connoisseur of nightmares, Somnia. It's a pleasure to meet you two. I'm Marcella Lipin. I wasn't always I wasn't aware she left behind apprentices, but <sighs> That's fine. If possible, I'd like you to help me as she once did. You see, I've been having problems sleeping the past several nights. I would come home exhausted from work, climb into bed, only to endlessly toss and turn until morning comes, unable to catch even a wink of shut-eye. It was fine at first. I've pulled all-nighters before, but it has now been two weeks. Oh jeez, two weeks. Man, college student core. I don't think my body can keep up with my brain anymore. It's been absolutely exhausting to do anything, or get anywhere. <sighs> I just want to sleep. Sleeping pills, music, exercise, and such have done nothing in my favor. I'm a very busy person, see? I have a lot on my plate, but... I, I don't know what will become of me at this rate. Oh dear, that sounds like a strong case of insomnia. Said by... Somnia. <laughs> I wonder, could it be a nightmare? Something vexing pulling at the heartstrings? Dreams made by a sleepless client. My, I wonder how they'll taste. What was that? Don't mind her. For now, we'll get our investigation started. Marcella, I'm going to need you to lie on this bed. A bed? Despite how comfortable it might be, I'm afraid I won't be able to fall asleep in it. Don't worry, we have ways of making you sleep. <laughs> If you would please relax, I'll be lighting some incense now. Somnia carefully lit an incense stick, blew it, and placed it in a ceramic holder. The insomniac was skeptical to believe incense would work this time, but with nothing left to lose, they closed their eyes nonetheless. When we count to three, you shall fall into a deep sleep. One. Two. Three. The ar aromatic wisps that rolled out shimmered lazily against the glint of the office's few lamps and seemed to be made of a dream itself. As the smoke swirled up lazily into the air, the two cooks just a moment ago now began their work as dream eaters. This Keep in mind this. This is like the base of the clock tower that they're going to show you. I See? That's the base of the clock tower. Whoa, whoa! I got you. Watch your step. It's a mess in here. A dream would reflect the person's inner headspace, after all. Our client must really have a hard time arranging their thoughts, among other things. Sounds like someone I know. Don't think I didn't catch you this morning rearranging our already labeled pastry display. Aw, but it looks better when it's arranged by jam color. <sighs> anyway, we need to find our client. Where are they? Also, they have tails. I don't know if they had tails before and I just keep missing it, or if they only have tails when they're dream eaters, like when they're in, in, a, in a dream, but they have tails, and I feel that's important. And Marcella also does not have, like, a tail, so it's, I don't know if it's just them, or I don't know. Oh no, I'm late. I'm late. I have to hurry. This assignment is due, and I have to fill out the report for... Oh, I need to pick up the... My, there's Marcella practically up to their nose in paperwork. The client can't see us in their dream, but let's tail them. Somnia and Ramiri. This dream, my, it's like a wonderland. Don't get lost now, Soms. Here, take my hand. 
And there's the kids' practice. I need to arrange the bouquet. Class has been cancelled, but... Darn, they're too fast. And what's with these bunnies? Ooh, they were so cute. Now what? We can't start cooking, much less collect any ingredients in this condition. Well, maybe we can learn something from these adorable dream whipped cream fluffles. Fluffle of bunnies. Is a fluffle- is like a group of bunnies actually called a fluffle? I feel like it is, but I don't remember. I'm gonna talk Somnia. Hello there, cuties. Would you mind letting us pass? We have an important mission and need to speak with our client up ahead. Mission? Mission. Did you- ugh. Do you know Big Sim Marchie? So cool. This, like, echo reminds me of- I think it's Timmy and Tommy from Animal Crossing's New Horizons. The echo that they have, like, where it's like- for example, if it mission, mission, this is how they would say it. And then if they were saying, do you know Big Sim Marchie? It would be like, Big Sim Marchie in like the little letters. But that's what that reminds me of. Marchie? Could they be talking about Marcella? We sure do. Your siblings asked us for help and we need to reach them. May I ask you, dearies, to kindly scoot over? Marchie is the greatest. They do so much. They're the hardest worker ever. We're going to work hard too. Let's support Big Sim. The bunny scampered off, kicking up clouds along the two intrepid dream eaters' path in the shape of a selection of apple slices. Each slice's ruby skin was daintily cut to mimic the adorable silhouette of a bunny. That is really cute, actually. Our first ingredient is freshly cut apples. Ooh, I wonder if we get to bake a pie with this. We'll see exactly what we can work with once we find more ingredients. I'll pocket this sweet snack for now, thank you very much. Oh, we can go over here now. Also, I would like to point out that this strawberry is, like, just in the sky. Doesn't that moon look peculiar? Those weird spots and pinkish hue? Is it a strawberry? Could it be an ingredient? Let's extract it. Squinting up against the moonlight, Somnia reached and placed her hand against the night sky, pinching the distant moon between her fingers. Like a manipulation of perspective, or a magic trick, one pluck was all it took for Somnia to retrieve the strawberry. You got a creamy strawberry. This is so cute. I like the way this the artist drew the food. I'm gonna click on this clock. What an odd looking clock tower. I wonder just how long it goes. Unfortunately, the bottom of the tower is obscured by the clouds. So I didn't notice this the first time I played this in all honesty, but this is all of the clock tower. And then when you come over here, this is also the clock tower. And then there's like one more section that it continues to. Uh, but Mar- Marcella. Let's speak to her. That's our client. Or there's our client. And I have to find my report and buy the medicine for little Whitney. Oh, and this whole place is an absolute mess. Marcella sure has a lot on their plate. Perhaps we can help them out. Let's see. They're looking for a report, trying to get medicine to one of the siblings. Oh, and they want to clean up this entire area. That last task sounds like a bit of a handful. Oh, come on, Remy. It'll be fun. After all, a spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down. I know, it's your favorite song. Let's just get to work. Alright, so now we can speak to the bunnies. And also there is now this bottle of medicine, so we do have to pick this up. And it took me forever to figure this out last playtime, but this is clickable. So I'm going to pick that up. This must be the medicine we have to give to Marcella's sister. The label says, drink me. You got the cherry medicine. The question is, just which of the siblings needs a dose? I guess we'll just have to go around and ask. I'll let you do the talking. So first, we're going to just talk to the bunnies. So our parents are really busy, so Marchie's been ta taking care of us in their steed. I'm the second oldest, but recently I've been away for school. I hope Marchie is doing all right. Clumsy bunny. Talk. I have my paint, but where to start? Looks like this one's a little preoccupied with talking to themselves. Peevish bunny. Talk to bunny. Our younger sister hasn't been feeling well lately, but she's weak to the taste of medicine, so she tries to lie her way out of it. How spoiled. Now we're gonna come back this way, because there are two bunnies over here. Quiet bunny. Talk to bunny. Hey. Dot dot dot. Dot, dot, dot. Can they not hear me? They look like they're occupied in trying to find something. I can't find my favorite book. 
A blue book, huh? Energetic bunny. Talk to bunny. Wee wee. That little one is going to get hurt jumping around like that. I'm sure she knows what she's doing. Wee ouch! Ow, watch it! Oh, sweetie, slow down and please be careful. I'm fine. <laughs> Wee! Kids these days. Now, now. So I know that this one's the one who gets the medicine because of my last playthrough, but I'm going to talk to Marcella because I don't remember if her dialogue changed. And I have to do this. Don't forget that. Oh, and I need to. Looks like Marcella's frozen in their thoughts. If I remembered correctly, they're looking for a report, trying to get medicine to one of the siblings. And don't forget, we need to find a way to clean up this entire area. Huh, let's get to work. Mounds of paper. Ugh, the client's going to be awake by the time we clean through this mess. How about we ask these bunnies, Marcella's little siblings, to help out? Well, it's definitely worth a shot. Hang on, there's a book in the pile of papers. There's a name written inside. Maddie. Do you think that's one of the bunny's names? How cute. We should hang on to it, just in case. So, if you remember, there's this bunny over here, the quiet bunny, who lost a book. So we're gonna ask for help. Hello there. Auntie Sam needs some help with cleaning. Would you mind helping? Dot dot dot. Hey. Dot dot dot. Can they not hear me? They look like they're occupied and trying to find something. I can't find my favorite book. It's blue and has my name on the inside. Hmm, a blue book, you say. Maddie, is this what you're looking for? Oh, oh, yes. Yay, you saved the day. Could have just asked for our help instead of ignoring us. Oh, Remy, no need to be such a grumpster. I, I'm not. I mixed up my book for another one. Here, you can have it. Could this be the report Marcella was looking for? I don't think this looks to be a report as much as it is a planner. Gosh, just look at this calendar. It's been filled to the brim with events. You can tell those are supposed to be events. All the pages are a complete mess. I can't even read the handwriting. I guess even in a dream, our client doesn't feel very organized with their life. Let's return the planner to Marcella after we finish the other tasks. Hmm? Something fell out of the pages. Looks like a family photo. Marcella's smiling while surrounded by their five younger siblings. Isn't that just the sweetest thing? You got some fine herbs. Cool beans. Now, this one is going full Alice in Wonderland and is trying to paint these white roses red. So, hi, would you mind helping us clean this place up for your big sib? Oh, before that, can I ask for a favor as well? Sure, sweetie, what is it? You see, I wanted to give Big Sib Marchi a gift for all that she's done for us. Big Sib Marchi's favorite color is red, but all the flowers here are white. I bought some I brought some paint earlier, but I'm not sure where to start. Could you help me color seven flowers? What a lovely idea. We'll be sure to do that. Painting the flowers? Well, I guess it's the thought that counts. So we're gonna paint this rose, we're gonna paint this rose, we're gonna paint this one and this one. And that's four, five, six, seven. There, that should be the last rose we needed to paint. Oh, they're beautiful, Remy. Honestly, it wasn't too bad, like brushing a savory glaze to vegetables. Let's go check on the bunny who asked the favor. This one. Ask for help. Ask for help. Okay. Oh, thank you, thank you. The red roses are so pretty. I hope Big Sib Marchi likes them. And I didn't forget your request. I can help clean up too. Oh yeah, that was a big dent. Um, Peevish Bunny, let's see. Can we ask for help? Hello, could you help us move some of that big pile of papers for your dear Big Sib Marchi? Hmph. <laughs> I guess it's to help Big... If it, I guess if it's to help out Big Sib Marchi, then... I can't read today. I am so sorry. And then Studious Bunny, ask for help. Hello there, would you mind helping us clean up these papers for your big sim, Marchi? Why yes, I'd love to help. Marchi already has a lot on their plate, so this is the least I could do. And then there's just a little bit left. And this is Little Whitney, so we're going to give her the medicine. Little Whitney, I heard someone's not feeling good and needs to take her medicine. 
What? I'm fine. Look how fast I can run. The only running I see is your high fever. <laughs> No, no, I don't want to take my medicine. Now, now, you have to be strong so you can be healthy and play outside. Open up. It, it doesn't taste all that bad. See, that's a good girl. I hope you feel better soon. Thanks, lady. Let me guess, you added some sugar. <laughs> she added sugar to the medicine. Um, but I'm going to talk. Our parents are really busy, so Marchie's been taking care of us in their steed. I'm the second oldest, but recently I've been away for school. Oh, that's this again. I hope Marchie is doing alright. Um. I'm gonna ask for help. You can't ask little Whitney to help. The thing she needs right now is some proper rest. I excuse me. Hmm? Oh, it's the bunny that wanted the blue book. Hi there, Maddie. What's wrong? Since little Whitney is sick, I can help clean up instead. I just finished my book. I'll be right over. My, how responsible. Thank you, darling. So I think that is all of it. Yep. We did it! The place looks so much nicer now. How is Marcella feeling? Ugh. And I still have to remember to go there and pick up that and call the... There's more tasks to do? Remy, look! Oh. To the dismay of the investigative duo, the oppressive atmosphere of has debris returned. I think it's supposed to be atmosphere. I think it's supposed to just be atmosphere of debris. So to the dismay of the investigative duo, the oppressive atmosphere of debris returned, undoing all the progress they had made. The two dream eaters paused to gather their bearings as they became overwhelmed once more by the clutter. All our hard work. What could we be doing wrong? Even in the planner, the pages are just becoming covered with more and more scribbles. Perhaps it's not the tasks themselves that are the problem. What? So they don't want our help? Help? Why would I need help? These are my responsibilities. I, I took on the tasks so I can finish the job myself. Ach, there they go again. Let's go, Remy. We mustn't lose them. Also, one thing I would like to point out is that throughout the entire game they always use they them pronouns for marcella so i think marcella is canonically non-binary because the siblings also do not call her sister or brother they call them sibling so i believe marcella may be non-binary but i could be wrong let's go remy we mustn't lose them also i think i accidentally called marcella she but i can't remember so if i did i apologize oh look here's somni and ramiri there they are, Remy, on top of that tower. What could Marcella be doing up? What could Marcella be doing up there? Marcella Le Pen. I, I can't keep up with this anymore. My list keeps growing and growing, but the little ones—they're all depending on me. Big Sib, Big Sib, we're hungry, hungry. The bunnies here—they're not acting like the ones from earlier. Big Sib, do you know where my shirt is? It has to be my favorite shirt. The kids are growing up, and that means their needs are growing too. I can't let them down, but the sim but there simply isn't enough time in the world to get all these things done. I can't afford to fall asleep. There's too much work left to be finished. Big Sib, can we go to the park? No, I want to go to the movies. Resting now means I'll be wasting my time. Big Sib Marchi is the oldest, so they can do everything. I have to keep going. Oh dearie, so the issue with cleaning wasn't the problem after all. There is a phone ringing. Okay, the phone stopped ringing. Sorry about that. <laughs> oh dearie, so the issue with cleaning wasn't the problem after all. She's kind of covering the tea, but I'm assuming this is supposed to say wasn't. Yes, it seems much deeper than that. The root of the issue lies in the sibling bunnies. Ramiri, how could you? Don't you dare blame these sweet children. I'm not blaming them. I'm just thinking out loud. We have to consider why the bunnies are in the client's worried dreams to begin with. Marcella obviously cares a lot about their siblings, but their perception here is different from our previous interactions. Our client has been so focused on meeting everyone's demands that they haven't had the time to sleep. Time! Somnia, the clocks! Let's go check on all the clocks! You're right, there certainly were a lot of clocks in this dream. Okay, so I remember how to do this puzzle, and it I had to consult a walkthrough on my last playthrough. But if you see here, it's XII and IX. I'm not even gonna. I think this is five, six. This is seven and this is four. So it's supposed to be at seven and four, right? This is. 
No, that's 12. I lied. <laughs> yep, I am very good at Roman numerals. <laughs> this is 12, actually. This is 12, and this is 9. Because 9, 10, 11, 12. So it's supposed to be at 9 o'clock on all of these clocks. So, and not all of them are. So the position of this clock is different from the other one in the room. The numbers are rough and difficult to read. How are we meant to tell the time? Hmm, the minute hand isn't moving. I think it's stuck. Oh, but it looks like I can move the hour hand freely. Nothing seems to happen when I do, though. Let's check the other clocks, too. So you can move... So you're gonna... So in this, you have to move... They, they said the hour hand. So in one of four prominent clock faces, the numbers have been clouded beyond readability. Currently, the hour hand is facing down, while the minute hand remains stuck facing up. One of four prominent clock faces, the numbers have been clouded beyond readability. Currently, the hour hand is facing up, while the minute hand remains stuck facing down. And then I do have to go back over here to look at this clock, because I forgot about it. The numbers are obscured beyond readability, but the minute hand is stuck in one position just like the other clock. Maybe we need to get all the clocks time to match up? How can we do that if we can't move the minute hand? We'll figure it out, Remy. There has to be a way. So I'm going to start from all the way to the left, but it's XII and IX. I'm not going to butcher the, <laughs> the Roman numerals again. Uh, my defense is that I was never taught Roman numerals in school. <laughs> Um, I'm going to move the hour hand up because I don't remember which way it's supposed to be. Oh, the hour has been moved to face up. It is supposed to be right. It's supposed to move it right. So move the hour hand right. The hour hand has been moved to face right while the minute hand remains facing down. The clock hand was moved, but nothing happened. Alrighty, so now let's move this one. Um, I'm going to move the hour hand up just to see where it is and it has to move to the left Stuck facing up it was moving nothing happened. So move to the left So it'd be XII IX has been moved to face left while the minute hand remains stuck facing up the clock hand was moved but nothing happened Okay, and then back over here Do the same thing hand up and this one actually does go up. So I think this last one goes down Stuck facing right, the clock hand was moved, but nothing happened, and I'm going to guess that this one goes down. Because, yep, I was correct. The hour hand has been moved to face down, while the minute hand remains stuck facing left. As the final clock struck nine, the machinery whirred to life, filling the air with the dull clanking of brass gears and spinning axles. The various clock faces occupying the dream space seem to react at once, winding their hands with incredible speed. Finally setting on one time, the clock hands began to move in sync once more. The gentle ticking of each second echoing in unison was simply harmonious. Remy, take a look! All the clocks are moving again. Oh, and what's this? Another ingredient. You got some clockwork eggs. That's a relief. My hunch was right after all. So Marcella had a warped perception of time, which fueled their pressure to keep working at the cost of their sleep. Time flies when you're having fun. I wouldn't describe our client's experience as fun. Well, it sounds like dear Marchie needs a good break. Fast. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I like the badumts um in the, the that they actually added that sound effect to the game. I thought that's I think that's cute. Um ha ha, but you're right. It seems a brief respite from their busy life is in order. And I have just the dish for the stream. Now with the clockwork eggs as the centerpiece, I believe we have the necessary ingredients for a proper morning dish. Ooh, I am so excited. Let's, let us be off to the wishing kitchen. I'll pocket these pretty eggs for now. Ah! Somnia, are you okay? What's the matter? Some of these eggs, they have little stuffed bunnies in them. Da da da. Is that all? You really had me worried there for a second. Yes, but that means we only have two clockwork eggs to cook with. Only two eggs? I'll have to be cautious while I'm cooking. I have total faith in you, Remy. You can do it. <laughs> but of course. So to the wishing kitchen. 
So, alright, let's begin whipping up a dream dish out of what we got. As we learned from Marcella's dream, time seems to be the centerpiece of their woes. They appear to be in a state of percep per perpe perpetual? Uh, perpetual disarray, unable to keep up with their ever-growing list of tasks. If you can eat away the worry, perhaps they'll feel less uneasy. Right, dream dishes are fickle, so we have to make sure we use the right ingredients. One wrong step and we'll have to start over. This time, we're a bit low on eggs, but let's do our best. We should aim for a five-star dish. If you feel stuck, Remy, we can bounce off ideas together. Just talk to me, okay? I like their little poses. So cute. So, eggs finely decorate with a thin gold paint and what looks to be a clock hand. Delicately ar aromatic herbs that will add a light layer of woodsy flavor to any dish. Crisp apple slices cut in the shape of bunnies, simply too cute to eat. A lovely red strawberry showing off its ripeness. The cross section looks like a heart. And it says cherry on the label, but the bitter smell hints otherwise. So, I'm gonna add eggs, fine herbs, bunny apples, and creamy strawberry. And then... Oh, that was cute. Voila! Oh, and it's a five star. I did remember how to do it. What What did you do? Just a bit of somnia magic. I feel like it was missing something earlier. In this case, a spoonful of love. So let's cook. Aw, oh, such a dreamy looking dish. I almost don't want to eat it. Not bad at all. Next time I'll be expecting more. <laughs> oh, I think that was a glitch. I don't know though. The omelette came out great. Not my best work, but I admit it does look enticing. Why don't you have it? Huh? Or the... Whenever I see the dot 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 exclamation point, it just makes me think of like the anime gasp. The... the I can't do the, the anime gasp, but you know what I mean. Uh, we both know dreams are harder to come by than nightmares, so help yourself. I... Thank you, Somnia. What's with that sad look? Eat up and enjoy. I... I will. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that. I know bon appetit, but I don't know bonne nuit et. Um, I'm so sorry if I butchered that. Mmm, soft warm eggs wrapped in a delicate fold and perfectly seasoned. The freshly cut fruit serves as a crisp light flavor in contrast to the richness of the eggs. This is sure to brighten up anyone's morning, especially if they had a tiring night before. I hope with this, we were able to eat away some of Marcella's worries. <laughs> I hope so too. The dream eater feasted on the hearty dish conjured from the client's suppressed worries and anxieties. Some prepared an ins Somnia prepared an inspired dish in the adjacent kitchen, in eager anticipation for the client to wake up from their repose. If you notice, the incense stick is smaller now. Slowly, Marcella rose from the bed as the incense fizzled out to a small ember. <sighs> see? Look, you can see the plushie now. This is the plushie I was talking about earlier. This little plushie. Also, they have one of those, like, star things that, like, project the stars. I think that's what that is. I could be wrong. You're awake. How are you feeling after your nap? Um, hungry. That's to be expected. Fortunately, we've prepared a dish specially for you. If you would please follow me back out to the front. Oh, this is delicious. It reminds me of when I first came here and had sleep consulting with, um, what's her name again? Miss Nemo. Miss Nemo. Y yeah, the dish really takes me back. Can you tell us how you two met? Well, it's been a while ago now. The years have flown by in a blink of an eye. This is a bit of a personal story, but... Five years ago, my family was going through a rough time. It was hard for our parents to be home, what with their odd jobs keeping them busy. So I was given the responsibility of taking care of my younger siblings, but to be honest, it was pretty overwhelming. I'm not that many years older than our second oldest child, but suddenly all of them were looking to me to take care of them. What could I do? I couldn't turn my back on my family. The stress of it all led to a lot of sleepless nights. I was tired, sure, but that was nothing compared to letting my siblings down. That's when I stumbled across this cafe and met Miss Nemo. I think I was supposed to say met, not meet. In a similar fashion, really. There I was, stretched out on the pavement in front of Cafe Nemo. 
When I woke up, I was inside the store with a warm omelet and a comforting smile waiting for me. It was difficult balancing my responsibilities, but I felt a, a duty to take care of my siblings. When she found me, she was so concerned, I didn't realize how hard I had been pushing myself until, well, my exhaustion got the best of me. She really listened to my worries and offered me some words of wisdom. I was able to work hard and continue to support my siblings thanks to her advice. I also came back regularly to help myself to her specialty omelette. But, but here I am again, falling asleep in odd places, being consumed by worries once more. I can't let this happen again. I need to find the time to take care of myself so I can better take care of my siblings. I really can't thank you two enough for helping me with such kindness as Miss Nemo did years ago. Thinking back at it now, she did mention before she had taken on two kids of her own as apprentices. I suppose that must be the two of you. It's amazing how well you recaptured that flavor and nostalgia that I once felt years ago. I'm sure she would be proud. We certainly had our fair share of caretaking stories. Miss Nemo treasured you two the same. I treasured my siblings. She was a lovely soul. She was a lovely soul. I hope she comes back soon, for your sake. That was a beautiful story. Dot dot dot. Do you think you could share more of your stories with us sometime? Yes, please. We love and miss her a great deal. I would love to hear your stories of Miss Nemo as well. I'll definitely make space in my schedule for a short routine visit. Also, I don't remember when this happens in the story or if like I missed this dialogue in like the dreamscape part, but these two, Ramiri and Somnia, are dating. Um yeah, I just thought that was a cool dip bit. Um, this is described as a um, WLW or Women Love Women game, and they are dating. I thought maybe before I played it the first time that they would get together during the expand like during the game, but they actually are canonically dating throughout the game already. Perhaps I'll even bring my siblings. Little Whitney doesn't care much for cherry flavored snacks, but no one could possibly deny your delectable cherry tarts. You know, when I took the nap earlier, I actually had what felt like a most wonderful, whimsical dream. I don't remember much of it now, but there were bits and pieces. Oh no, I'm going to be late! Dot dot dot. Uh, you know what? If today's visit has told me anything, I think it's that I should take a day off to rest. The flower shop can go without me for a day. Rather than focus on trying to keep up, I honestly ought to step back and see if I can get help from my siblings with these tasks. It's the silliest thing. I even dreamt of a messy tea party and that my siblings were cleaning up the mess. <gasps> Exclamation point. But it's true. They've grown up to be very capable. I think they might be able to help around the house and the floral shop. Well, I should be going. Thank you so much for your services. Phew, all in a day's work, right Remy? It's funny, Marchie reminded me a little of you, working a little too hard at times. You have to take a card from Marchie's book and take it easy. Have some fun now and then. I think you have enough fun for the both of us. Don't tell me you didn't have fun in that dream, the cute bunnies, cooking up a yummy new dream dish. It's been a dreadfully long time since we've had a client. While I can't say the same about the cute bunnies, I do have to agree that the dream dish was quite good. Hmm? Do I spy a smile turning the corners of your mouth? What? I do! You really liked the dish, didn't you? Of course! What's not to like about a dream dish? It's been quite some time since I've indulged in one. Your magic certainly added quite a sweet and tangy flavor that I didn't expect, but welcome nonetheless. Remy, you don't need to be so bashful about enjoying something. You know, I'd only ever make delicious treats for you. Aww. Thank you, Psalms. Sigh. It takes me back. It's been five years since Miss Nemo disappeared. Dot dot dot. Oh, she disappeared? Starting in the morning with a dish like this, it reminds me of when she would prepare fruit slices before opening. You remembered something like that? You, re you remember something like that? Of course. The way you plated the fruit slices on the client's dish, it's just like how she did it. I, I suppose it is, isn't it? Does Somnia really not remember? Starting the day with small delights from our mentor only ever brightened up my day. I suppose. I'm glad it reminded you of her, if only for a little bit. You two were close, weren't you? It's only natural you'd pick up some of her tendencies. 
R right for the usually bubbly somnia to fall silent well it was certainly a rare sight to, behol to behold and ramiri quickly took note providing comfort was far from ramiri's forte but seeing somnia so unusually despondent kindled a flame of determination within her somnia we agreed to watch the store and wait for her right it's our duty to keep the store as warm and welcoming as it was before she left I know it's hard to play the waiting game, but let's get to work, for the day she'll return. Until then, don't worry, you're not alone. I'll always stay by your side. <laughs> Remy, you're such a charmer. <clears throat> Ahem. Aw, you're blushing. Psalms, please. We need to get to the store ready. We need to get the store ready. Whatever you say, Ramiri. Ramiri, I guess is how she said it because of the way it was broken up. Uh, chattering away, the dream eaters gathered their bearings for the start of another day. And the phone is ringing again. <laughs> Nobody ever calls, but of course we get like two phone calls while I'm recording. Of course we do. I just... <sighs> Anyways, <laughs> another day, another chance to see their mentor. With that, hope in their, with that hope in their hearts, the two open up shop and await the return of their old friend. And so Cafe Nemo, Ca Nemo, and so Cafe Nemo resumes it. Re I'm doing great today. I'm so sorry. My reading skills are out the window today. And so Cafe Nemo resumes its day to day business, for providing dreamy dishes to those whose hunger is wished to be sated with delectable treats. And those whose who, and those whose who, I think it's supposed to say, and those who wander. And those who wander in with dreams composed of worries, fears, and woes will provide the same satisfaction to the dream eaters. Thank you for playing. Thank you for making the game. This was a really sweet and short game. I enjoyed it a lot. Um, even my second playthrough, I enjoyed it a lot. Um, I would highly recommend playing through it or supporting the creators if you can. Um, I'm unsure if they've made any other games, but if they have, please support their other games. Um, I'm unsure if they're planning on making a full release of this, but I would love to see a full release of this game, kind of figuring out what happened to Miss Nemo and like helping other customers. Oh, this art is so cute. Uh, and things like that. <laughs> So this is the credits, um, I uh, will not be talking that much through them, but I really really love these arts that they did. I would fully cosplay some of these. I like the idea gay, idea guy. Um, uh, and then this art is really cute as well. And then... Um, Apologies to the folks who had trouble with my clock puzzle. In actuality, it could have been worse. <laughs> I had a lot of trouble with that puzzle the first time around. Again, I had to consult a walkthrough, but um, I had a lot of fun with this game anyways, despite me being stupid and having to consult walkthroughs for a what I would say is a pretty simple game. Um, I'm just not great at figuring out puzzle games in all honesty. See you next time. Oh, I forgot to check if their sprites have tails. But yeah, look, they have tails. I think that's really cute. So that concludes this game. Again, if you'd like to support the creators, you definitely should, as this game was very cute, the art was very cute, the story was very cute, and just generally enjoyable all around. So anyways, thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you enjoyed this content, please consider subscribing or just checking out my channel again. I'm Mokuchi and I make videos as often as I can about a little bit of everything. Don't forget to check this game out and support the creators as well as take breaks when you need to. And as always, remember to do something you love, try something, try something new, and I hope all of y'all have a wonderful and safe week. Bye!